Hi, this is Dave Marriott from the Drayton Harbor Music Festival. Uh, I'm just going to talk real quickly about how most of the time we brass players, we only practice things in major when it comes to our technical studies, like lip flexibilities. That kind of stuff. It's all in major, in almost every book you're ever going to practice. And yet, as improvisers, we, we need to play minor, we need to play dominant, we need to play augmented, we need to play other kinds of shapes. So here's an easy thing that you can do to any exercise that you practice that's like that to make it into something else. So for example, on the trombone, I'm just the easiest thing beyond playing everything in first position is to make one of those notes in second position, just very simply. So if I have a three note, three note structure, let's say it's gonna be F, B flat, and D. That by changing any one of those three pitches just down a half step, I get a whole bunch of different structures. Now I have E, B flat, and D. That could be e, e half diminished. That could be part of a C9 chord. Right? There's a lot of different applications for that structure. Uh, that's lowering the, the bottom of the three notes. Here's lowering the, the, the middle note. Now we get F, A, D. We get a second in, first inversion D, D minor triad. Uh, and now we're going to lower the top note. Now we get a B flat minor triad in second inversion. So now, and that's just one structure in one part of the instrument. So if we if we do this in a different part of the instrument, for example, by lowering the middle, we get those nice tritones. By lowering the top, we get kind of a major flat 5 or major sharp 11 sound. Uh, if we go up into some of the upper upper sets of notes, let's say starting with B flat, F, and D, we also can get... And we can also get... We can also get... Now, that's again only changing one of the groups of notes. If I change two of the notes to be second position for me, well, I'm getting all kinds of additional stuff now. now I got my augmented triad. If I, uh, if I, if, um, let's do it up here. That's the second and third notes. Down a half step, now I got diminished. And now I've covered all of my major chord types. And you can do this with your Schlossberg, with your Arbins, with any kind of lip flexibility exercise that you practice. Just to get more sounds into your ears, right? We are very much products of what we hear when we practice. And if all we practice is major, then our tendency is to play really well in major and not so well in everything else. This helps make you, a, 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 I think, a more well-rounded improviser from the technical side. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.